Hi, my name is Tiffany Wisner, and I'm the General Manager of Product Marketing for Amazon EC2. I'm excited to share with you what's new in Amazon EC2, as well as our Compute Hybrid and Edge services. Before I dive into what's new, I wanted to provide a quick overview of Amazon EC2 for those that are new to cloud computing or new to AWS. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud, and it was first available 15 years ago. We have racks of EC2 servers deployed across all of our global regions. Each AWS region consists of multiple availability zones, or AZs as we call them. And each AZ is typical multiple data centers. Within these racks, we have dozens of servers, and each contains processors, memory, networking, and sometimes local storage. As part of EC2, we have a hypervisor that partitions these resources into virtual machines, or GESs, which we call EC2 instances. Today, we offer more than 400 EC2 instances that are designed to support a wide range of workloads, including web servers, enterprise applications like SAP, high-performance computing applications, and machine learning. With 400 EC2 instances, we have the broadest and deepest selection of instances, so you can target nearly virtually every workload. These instances are across multiple instance categories, including general purposes instances, compute optimized instances, and memory optimized instances, each where each instance type has a particular ratio of CPU cores to memory. There are also burstable instances for developers where there may be spiky workloads, and instances with more local storage. And lastly, there are instances that include GPUs and accelerators for machine learning and graphic intensive workloads. Now consider that customers can also run their desired configuration across Windows, Linux, Unix, and even Mac OS. We continue to rapidly innovate so you can best tailor your compute to the needs of your application. We've delivered more EC2 instances in the last two years than the 13 years prior to that, and 90% of our roadmap is driven by customer feedback. Now, our accelerated pace of innovation has allowed us to offer the broadest choice of compute instances, as well as some of the most powerful compute capabilities. We offer the fastest networking with 400 gig gigabit per second networking in our GPU optimized instances. We have the largest high memory instances with up to 24 terabytes of RAM for SAP use cases. We have the largest local storage instances with up to 336 terabytes of storage and the fastest block storage with our, local, with our R5B instance. And we have the most powerful machine learning training instances with the latest NVIDIA GPUs and the most powerful machine learning inference instances with our ADBS custom design chip, ADBS Inferentia. And we're the only cloud provider to provide on-demand Mac OS instances. That's a lot of flexibility for customers to match your compute to the needs of your workload. Now, with all this innovation, based on the latest cloud infrastructure and platform magic quadrant, Gartner has recognized ADBIS as a leader based on our ability to deliver differentiated products and services and the completeness of our portfolio and vision. If you're tracking this report over the last few years, you'll notice there are fewer and fewer service providers on the, the chart, and the ADBIS is furthering our separation with other service providers. And besides the breadth and depth of our offering and our ability to execute, what separates us from other service providers is our unrelenting focus on security and operational stability. Top customers such as Netflix, Intuit, Capital One, Pinterest, Airbnb, and Epic Games are running business critical workloads on AWS. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into our portfolio. EC2 provides instances that are powered by a choice of processors from Intel, AMD, as well as AWS to help our customers optimize price performance for their workload. We have a long and rich partnership with Intel, and Intel Xeon scalable processors are powering some of our most powerful instances. In 2018, we announced our support for the AMD Epic processors, the first cloud provider to do so. And we have multiple AMD instances across the majority of our regions, 
featuring AMD EPIC processors, delivering the performance many customers need at 10% lower cost. Last year, we launched our Graviton, Graviton 2 processor-based instances, which feature AWS-designed ARM-based processors. Graviton 2-based instances offer up to 40% better price performance versus fifth-generation x86-based instances and are available in different CPU and memory ratios and with or without local instance storage. These instances support a broad range of workloads, everything from application servers, video encoding, high-performance computing to microservices, open source databases, and in-memory caches. Now, besides the choice of CPUs, we offer instances with a wide selection of hardware accelerators, such as GPUs for NVIDIA, FPGAs from Xilinx, and Adibus Inferentia, an Adibus Design custom machine learning chip for accelerating deep learning inferences. Now let's take a moment to discuss our collaboration with Intel. Intel has been with us from the very beginning of EC2, and today the majority of our instances continue to be powered on the latest Intel processors. Now these are simply not off-the-shelf Intel processors. We partner with Intel to bring custom processors optimized for AWS. As just one example, we provide the highest sustained all-core turbo frequency processor. We're also excited to introduce new instances powered by Intel. We're announcing a new general purpose instance, M6i, that's powered by the third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors, as well as virtualized version of our high memory instances for SAP workloads. Now our M6i instances are our new general purpose processors or new general purpose instances that are powered by the third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. They deliver up to 15% better price performance compared to previous generation M5 instances. These instances offer up to larger sizes with up to 128 vCPUs and 512 gigabytes of memory, which are great for customers that want to consolidate their workloads onto fewer instances. They also up offer up to 50 gigabyte, gigabit per second network bandwidth and up to 40 gigabit per second bandwidth to, AB, to EBS, both twice the bandwidth of M5 instances. Now, EC2 high memory instances were first available in 2008 and offer customers up to 24 terabytes of memory in an instance. These instances are purpose built to run large in-memory databases in the cloud, including production deployments of SAP HANA in-memory databases. EC2 high memory in instances are certified by SAP for production environments, including running SAP HANA. High memory instances were previously only available as a bare metal instance on EC2 dedicated host with a three-year reservation. In response to customer demand, we're excited to announce that EC2 high memory instances are now available on demand. This allows you to take advantage of hourly pricing and savings plans and gives you more options for your SAP use cases. Now let's talk about AMD. We've launched our first AMD instance in 2018, powered by the AMD Epic processors at 10% lower costs for x86 workloads. Customers have loved the simplicity of migration and the opportunity to save 10%. Now, last year at reInvent, we announced G4AD, featuring the latest AMD Radeon GPUs and second generation AMD Epic processors. These instances provide the best price performance in the cloud for graphic applications, including remote workstations, game streaming, and graphic rendering. They offer up to 45% better price performance for graphics intensive applications than comparable instances. AWS has introduced 58 AMD instance types across 21 global regions for addressing a variety of workloads. And later this year, AWS plans to offer Amazon EC2 instances powered by the third generation AMD Epic processors these instances will expand customer choice and take advantage of the high performance of third generation AMD Epic processors. Graviton 2 is our AWS designed ARM based processor purpose built for the cloud. 
Graviton instances deliver up to 40% better price performance than fifth generation x86 based instances. That's 40% better performance and 20% lower costs. With Graviton 2, we have nine instance families to help you take advantage of these price performance benefits across a wide range of workloads. First, for Graviton 2, we introduced compute optimized, general purpose, and memory optimized instances, each with disk based variants. In 2020, we introduced T4G, offering the lowest cost and best price performance for general purpose workloads. And C6GN for compute intensive workloads, such as high performance computing. Earlier this year, we offered Amazon EC2 X2GD instances. X2GD instances are the next generation of memory optimized instances powered by the Graviton 2 processors. They deliver up to 55% better price performance compared to current generation x86 based X1 instances. They also offer twice the memory per vCPU compared to R6 and R R6G and R5 instances, and the lowest cost of gigabyte of memory in Amazon EC2. The high performance and additional memory of X2GD instances enable customers to run memory intensive applications such as in memory databases, relational databases, electronic design automation workloads real-time analytics, and real-time caching servers. Now, as a quick recap, let's review what Graviton 2 instances offer. Highest performance in their instance families, 20% lower cost versus the same size comparable instances, and up to 40% better price performance versus comparable instances. Now, if you want to get started with Graviton 2, there's a free trial of our T4G instances available through the end of 2021. Now, as you can see, Graviton 2 based instances have been extremely popular with our customer base. And here you can see customers like Formula One, Nextworld, and SmugMug have stated that adopting Graviton 2 based instances was quite easy. And in many cases, they were able to compute, complete their migration in just a few days. What's really exciting is seeing the success these customers have had once they've moved their workloads to Graviton 2. Formula One, that's a form of motor racing where the cars can turn both left and right, is seeing up to 40% better price performance. Nextroll, an ad tech company, is saved up to 50% of their compute costs over previous generation EC2 instances. And SmugMug, a photo management and sharing app, migrated, migrated to Graviton in just one day and saw 40% price performance. With this, we want to make it even easier for customers to adopt our Gravitune 2 based instances. So to help you get started with Graviton 2 based instances, we recently launched the Graviton Challenge. By joining the challenge, customers get access to a four-day step-by-step -step plan to help you get started, support from Graviton experts, and resources to guide you along the journey. And by the end of the challenge, you'll have migrated an application to Graviton 2 and benchmarked its performance. We'd like, to show, we'd like you to show us what you can do with 40% better price performance. All right, then moving from CPUs to GPUs, Adibus provides a broad set of instance options for machine learning workloads. The first training. Training is the process of teaching your model how to perform a task, such as image recognition. For training, we have our R5 memory optimized instances for CPU based training, and our P3 and P4 instances for GPU based training. P4 instances offer eight NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPUs and up to 400 gigabits of networking throughput for the largest and most demanding machine learning applications. Now for inference, inference is the process of deploying the model and leveraging the trained model to assess real world data. For inference, we have compute optimized instances with C5 for CPU based inference. And our G4 instance offers the latest generation NVIDIA T4 GPUs 
up to 100 gigabits of net raising throughput, and up to 1.8 terabytes of local NVMe storage. We also have our InfluEnt instances, which utilizes our latest custom Inferentia chip, as well as the Elastic Inference service that allows you to attach low-cost GPU power acceleration to Amazon EC2 instances. Now let's take a closer look at the recently announced instances that reduce the cost of ML training. We'd previously also announced additional EC2 ML instances that will be based on our second machine learning chip, ADBIS Trainium. This instance will be built from the ground up for training deep learning models and will offer the highest performance and lowest cost in the cloud for deep learning training. And of course, it will leverage the same Neuron SDK that is used with our InfoN instance, and it will be integrated with popular machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. This instance is coming later this year, so stay tuned for more updates in the coming months. All right, let's talk about inf inference. For inference, Amazon EC2 Inf1 instances deliver high performance ML inference at the lowest cost in the cloud. They feature up to 16 ADBus Inferentia chips. Those are high performance machine learning chips designed and built by AWS just for deep learning. Additionally, InfoNt instances include second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors and up to 100 gigabits networking to deliver high throughput inference. Customers can use InfoNt instances to run large scale machine learning inference applications such as search, recommendation engines, computer vision, speech recognition, natural language processing, personalization, and fraud detection, all at the lowest cost in the cloud. Now, one of the things I love of our InfoNt instances and AWS Inferentia is that even after they're general, generally available, we can continue to improve the performance. We do this with a software update, or more specifically, an update to the Neuron SDK. With our latest update to the Neuron SDK, Inf1 now delivers up to 2.3x higher throughput and up to 70% lower cost per inference than comparable current generation GPU Amazon EC2 instances. Now, as ML developers know, the ease of developing and running ML applications is just as important as the power of the hardware. The Neuron SDK, the software used with Inf1, is not only integrated with popular machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and MXNet, but it now also supports the Hugging Face model repository. The support for Hugging Face now makes it even easier for ML developers to access and share machine learning models and innovate faster. All right. As we think across EC2, we constantly strive to support virtually every workload, including bringing new workloads to the cloud. EC2 Mac instances enable customers to run on-demand Mac OS workloads in the AWS cloud for the first time, extending the flexibility, scalability, and cost benefits of AWS to Apple developers. With EC2 Mac instances, developers creating apps for iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, Apple TV, and Safari can provision and access macOS environments within minutes, dynamically scale capacity, and benefit from AWS pay-as-you-go pricing. Now, of course, with any service, it's important that customers have access to the latest software. macOS Big Sur is the current major OS released from Apple, and it introduces new capabilities and performance improvements over prior macOS versions. Customers can now run macOS Big Sur on Amazon machine images on EC2 Mac instances. And customers can also access Amazon EFS file system from instances running macOS Big Sur, just providing more options for using macOS instances in EC2. Beyond individual instances, we also want to continue to make EC2 easy to use for our customers. The interactive EC2 Serial Console is now generally available. EC2 Serial Console provides a simple and secure way to troubleshoot boot and network, connecti network connectivity issues by establishing a connection to the serial port of an instance. It provides a one-click, text-based access to an instance serial port, just as though a monitor or a keyboard were attached to the instance. This access can be used for interactive troubleshooting. 
Previously, you could get a serial console output as logs or as a screenshot through the EC2 Management Console API or CLI. But now you can interactively run troubleshooting commands for resolving boot and network configuration issues. The EC2 Serial Console is ideal for situations where you're unable to connect your instance through SSH or RDP. And the EC2 Serial Console access is available for Nitro-based virtual instances running either Windows or Linux at no additional cost. All right. Now, as we think about all the innovation in EC2, as customers are bringing new workloads for the cloud, there are also workloads which still need to remain on premises, either because of local data processing, they need the needs for ultra low latency, or for local data compliance or local regulations. For these, we have a portfolio of ADBS infrastructure solutions that help extend ADBS compute to where you need it. ADBS Outpost is a fully managed service that extends ADBS infrastructure, services, APIs, and tools to virtually any data center, on-premises facility, or co-location space for a truly consistent hybrid experience. ADBS Local Zones are a new type of ADBS deployment infrastructure that places ADBS compute, storage, databases, and other select services closer to large population, IT, industry, and IT centers where no ADBIS region exists today. And with ADBIS Wavelength, these are ADBIS infrastructure deployments that embed ADBIS compute and storage services within our telecommunication providers' data centers at the edge of the 5G network, so you can seamlessly access the breadth of the ADBIS services also in the region. Our infrastructure solutions combined with our global infrastructure enable you to use the same ADBS infrastructure, services, APIs, and tools for applications on premises and in the cloud. Let's spend a moment on Outpost. When we launched Outpost, we had support for 34 countries and territories. In just one year, by the end of 2020, we expanded support to a total of 51 countries and territories. In 20, 2021 thus far, we've added five new countries and territories where you can order and deploy an outpost, including Puerto Rico, Colombia, Macau, Philippines, and Brunei. So in total, we now have 56 supported countries and territories, many of which do not have an ADBS region today and provide additional flexibility to customers. And we're continuing to add more country and territories over time. Similarly, we have 23 supported regions where you can now connect your outpost to any commercial or GovCloud region, currently excluding only our China regions. And we'll continue to support all new regions as they launch, including our four announced regions, Spain, Jakarta, Switzerland, and Hyderabad. We already support a rich set of services and outposts. Recent new features and services and outposts include Amazon RDS for SQL Server, support for EBS local snapshots, and support for Cloud Endure. We're also excited that coming in 2021, our ADBIS Outpost and 1U and 2U form factors. Outpost servers offer the same ADBIS infrastructure, services, APIs, and tools on premises, just in a smaller form factor. You can choose between a 1U form factor with an AWS 2 Graviton processor or a 2U form factor with an Intel-based processor. And you can run AWS, AWS services locally, including EC2, ECS, and EKS, as well as edge services like AWS IoT Greengrass. Outpost servers can be installed by your own on-premises personnel or AWS preferred third-party vendors. And outpost servers are ideal for smaller sites, such as retail stores, branch offices, clinics and hospitals, factories, warehouses, and distribution centers. ADBIS Local Zones places ADBIS Compute, Database, Storage, and other select services closer to large population, industry, and IT centers, where no ADBIS region exists today. Now, the key question is, where are these local zones? Our first local zone was launched in Los Angeles for users based in Southern California. We now have two local zones located in Los Angeles. 
For 2021, we will add 15 additional local zones across the U.S. To date, we've launched six of these local zones, with nine more coming later this year, with cities like Atlanta, Chicago, and New York. With these new local zones, customers will be able to deliver single-digit millisecond latency to end users across the continental U.S. Now, 5G opens the door for so many opportunities to developers to build new innovative applications. And we're excited to see what our customers will do with AWS Wavelength. Wavelength places AWS infrastructure at the 5G edge to eliminate extra network hops and makes AWS services, APIs, and tools available to developers to build, deploy, and manage the latency-sensitive components of their application at the 5G edge, just the same way they do in the AWS regions. Wavelength is available globally, first in North America with Verizon, in Europe with Vodafone, in South Korea with SK Telecom, and with, in Japan with KDDI. And we recently announced that we'll be deploying Wavelength zones in Canada with Bell Canada. Together, AWS Outposts, Local Zones, and Wavelength help extend your AWS compute to where you need it for your different applications. All right, time to recap. This year marks EC2's 15th birthday. Looking back, there's been tremendous innovation that has gone into what EC2 is today. The updates I shared here are just for the innovations in the year alone. And we're excited for what customers are going to continue to do with the innovations in EC2. Now, we have many ways for you to learn more about EC2 with our training and certifications offerings. You can learn more at adbis.com slash training and take advantage of all of these resources. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about EC2. And again, we can't wait to see what you'll do with all these innovations. Now, also, please take a moment to complete the survey. Your feedback helps us continue to improve these sessions. And thanks so much for joining again.